Macon Judicial Circuit District Attorney Anita Howard, along with the Peach County Sheriff and Georgia Bureau of Investigation, announced the next steps in the investigation of the deadly officer-involved shooting last week in Fort Valley. 41 NBC's Denise Turner reports. The Macon Judicial Circuit District Attorney Anita Howard, along with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and Peach County Sheriff Terry Deeks, held a news conference Monday morning on the deadly police-involved shooting that happened last week. It typically takes my office anywhere from two weeks to 30 days because once they turn it over, we typically review the, um, the facts of the case, we review all the evidence that they turn over, and then there's typically a briefing that the GBI will do with um, my team of prosecutors, and then typically a decision is made anywhere um, between two weeks and about a month. The incident led to the death of 22-year-old Caleb Hooten on October 10th at the Marvin Gardens Apartments in Fort Valley. According to Sheriff Deeks, the officer involved in the shooting, Sergeant Hermes Rodriguez, has been suspended on administrative paid leave and wants to make sure every proper step is taken during the investigation. He went on to deliver a heartfelt message to the Hooten family and the community. We understand that Peach County is a small community and this is a tragedy that affects all of our all of our community. I can't even begin to imagine to put myself in the position of the Hooten family and we're truly sorry this happened. But now we're at the point where we need to find out exactly what happens and that depends on all of us working together. In Macon, Denise Turner, 41 NBC News. DA's office within 90 days. Howard says her office will then determine what action to take after reviewing the case.